many students ask about SBR. They say how to clear the paper and we give one best advice is reading, non-stop reading because the paper is 85% theory. But when they read, they find some difficult, different, difficult vocabulary. So they ask sometimes say, how to tackle that vocabulary. So I have found one word which, is, which has been asked many times in recent past paper and that is useful information. Examiner asks many times what is useful information, useful information. So do, don't forget for information to be useful, it must be relevant, number one, and it must be faithfully represented. I'm sure you heard these words in framework. So what is relevance? Relevant information is any information that changes user decision or that have a predictive value. That means that says something about the future of the company, right? And the second thing is faithful representation. Now, let's start giving you some practical example because in SBR you see practical scenarios and you have to, you have to talk about relevance. The first example is fair value. Recording something at fair value, does it increase your relevance? Yes. Just think, you are recording a property at cost, historical cost, and on the other hand, you record it at the current fair value. So if you record the, the asset at current fair value, that means you are predicting the future cash flows. For example, if the company wants to sell that asset in near future, so company will get the same future fair value and that, that means you are predicting future cash flows. So yes, recording at fair value increases the relevance of the transaction. Second example, held for sale. If there is a non-current asset and if that non-current asset meets all the criteria of held for sale, so definitely you will be recording at, to it to current asset. So now what does it mean? This, this gives an indication to shareholders that soon this asset will be sold. So yes, it, it, it also reply, reflects the predictive value and whenever anything which reflects the predictive value, it has, it has to do with relevance. Third example, the same is IFRS 5, discontinued operation. For example, you have five operations and you decided to discontinue one operation. So now in the income statement or SOCI, you will be presenting that operation as a separate operation in the discontinued head. So once again, this thing gives message to your to the shareholders that don't expect anything from this, this section because next year this section will be no more. Again, this is predicting future. So yes, it has a predictive value. Next example, diluted EPS. You know, what diluted EPS says, if the current, uh, if the profits remain same, if the profits remain same, then what are the diluted options, the what we call it, the potential agreements. If the potential agreement converts, then what will be the impact on EPS? So once again, diluted EPS itself has a predictive value. Now come to the faithful representation. What is faithful representation? In short, in short, it's like speaking truth. It's like showing truth to the public. And there are some attributes like showing the substance of the transaction, sub applying substance over form, showing the complete transaction, not incomplete, because if the transaction is complete, then it's, it's faithfully represented. The transaction must be must be made with neutrality, with neutrality. That means no pre-planned things in mind. Now, let's discuss some example for faithful representation. The first one is consolidation, consolidation. There is a parent company and there is a subsidiary company. Although legally they have the separate identity, but just think parent company controls subsidiary. That means the both organizations, both parent and subsidiary are under common control of parent company. So now we have to report to our shareholders that this whole group is a single entity. That's what consolidation is. So when you, when you do make consolidated accounts, you show the economic reality of the transaction. You show the substance of the transaction. So again, this, this comes under the head of faithful representation. Second example, uh, debt or equity. We have seen in financial instrument, there are certain transactions which looks apparently, which looks like equity, but when you see it, with the substance, they are debt like contingent settlement provision. They apparently looks like equity, but yes, there is a room of cash payment in it. And whenever there is a room of cash payment, whenever there is a likelihood of cash payment, then in that case, you have to report it as a liability. So once again, if you report, if you doing correct reporting of equity and debt, that means you are speaking truth. You are showing the substance of the transaction. 
So yes, this is this is substance over form. This is faithful representation. Third example, uh, IFRS 16 leases. In leases, you know, the legally the owner of the, that asset is lesser. But yes, the right of use has been transferred to lessee for two, like two, three years. So that means for next two or three years, the economic benefit will be the, the lessee is going to enjoy the economic benefit, all right of use asset. So that's why lessee should book the asset, although lessee does not own that asset. So what we are doing again, we are reporting the substance of the transaction. Again, we are speaking truth. So yes, this is faithful representation. One more example for you guys. IFRS 15, when to book revenue, you know, the last stage is stage five. In stage five, we says you book revenue, you book revenue when the performance obligation is satisfied. Performance obligation is satisfied. Now look at here. For example, today I received a call and somebody to ask me that we want to order 200,000 units. So do you think should I book the revenue on the date I received that call? No. Then they give me order. Yes, do it. Then I started production. Now the production is completed. And now after a few days, I transferred, I delivered the goods to the, to the customer. And then after 15 days, they paid me. So now just think, should I book the revenue on the first call? No, no, that's not the, that's not the true substance of this transaction. You know what? We'll book the revenue when, the, when this performance obligation will be satisfied. And the, what, was, what was the original deal? The original deal was I have to deliver goods. So yes, we'll book the revenue on the date of delivery. So this is how this is how we report the faithful representation. One more example. Yes, deferred tax, deferred tax. You know, in deferred tax, we match income with expenses, tax expenses. No matter we have to pay in the later later years, like the example of dividend, the very famous example of dividend. You know, we book dividend income now, but we, we are going to receive it in future. So tax department says we'll charge tax in future, but no doubt tax department is going to collect tax in future, but we need to book tax expense now. So whenever we apply it for tax, we report correct profit, true profit. So reporting true profit is faithful representation. Yes, reporting complete profit is faithful representation. So deferred tax is again the application of, deferred tax is again application of faithful representation. One more thing, quick one. You know, because of defer tax, if there is a defer tax liability in your books, that means you have to pay tax in future. So through this, shareholder can predict the future. So yes, when shareholder can predict the future, then it also increases your relevance. One more example, sale and lease back. You know, in sale and lease back transaction, you think, you just think that you sold it and you lease it back. So just think, is it a real sale or still you have some performance obligation? <coughs> So again, you need to report that transaction according to the substance. Again, this is this is faithful representation. So student, I have given you a few examples and now you can think you a lot of accounting examples are there. So during the exam, if you find these words like useful information, relevant information, faithful representation. So think like that and answer that because this is not your MCQ paper. This is about discussion and you can score good. My name is Mustafa Ahmed Mirchawala and I'm SBR trainer. So if you have any issues, you can contact me. Thank you.